Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Avoiding Broke podcast with me, Jermaine. And guys, today, the topic we're thinking about is our mental health during this whole financial crisis, this whole cost of living crisis. You know, there's a song that just says to us, Mo money, mo problems. And when you think of it and you spin it and you actually apply that principle to where we are today with the cost of living crisis, the more money we are having to commit for our normal day-to-day activities, our normal way of existing, often the more problems we have. And those problems, they can really sometimes show themselves mentally. You know, we saw through the whole COVID time, so you can kind of take this back a good year and a half now. We saw during this whole COVID time, the impact of mental health challenges on people across the world. People have been, um, there's been more people having linked suicides, more people having linked breakdowns, more people having linked depression. And what people are starting to talk about is a whole glut of the of communities having mental health problems that are being untreated. It's incredibly worrying when you can have so many people so vulnerable and not getting help they need. It's important that when we get into tough times, when we get to times like this where we realise that we could be under strain, it's important to recognise that our mindsets could be deteriorating, but we don't quite realise it. You know, there's no big solution that can necessarily be offered to help people with the problems that they have. But a few simple things that are within our gift, a few things that we can definitely do um, just to help us. So one is the act of just constant exercise. So when we exercise, we are we our body releases um, endorphins and neurotoxins, which are like positive hormones. They just give your body a almost like a happiness boost. If anyone's ever done a good workout and you look at yourself at the end, even if you're panting, you're sometimes absolutely overjoyed because of just how much work you've put in and how much you feel you've accomplished. It's possible to have that feeling a lot more often if we're exercising regularly. So as we go through this cost of living crisis, as strange as it may seem, regular exercise could be a really important thing for us all to be looking at doing in order to help guide us through. You know, it's not going to be smooth, so it's important that we have got different ways of conditioning to guide us through. So regular exercise is one. On the channel, we've spoken about meditation before as well. So meditation is almost like the act of conditioning your body and your mind to take on challenges and deal with stuff. You're not avoiding it. You're learning how to be calm, grounded, settled and present so that if a challenge comes your way, you can deal with it. And that is an incredibly powerful tool to know how to deal with things with a calm, relaxed, open-minded attention. That's why meditation is so important to me and you may get some benefit from it yourself. If you're not sure, you don't have to do much, you know, just jump on YouTube and find, and just type in meditation. Five minute meditation, 10 minute meditation, doesn't matter. Start small and build up. It's a lot like the exercising, you don't have to go and hit a gym and get a, uh, and get a fancy membership to somewhere. Just start walking around your local block. Five minutes, ten minutes. Start small, build up. All of these things are small, what they call incremental gains, which will over time help us improve. The third wonderful thing I'm gonna idea that I'm gonna share with you is just the act of reading, just picking up a book. You'll see the bookshelf behind and we keep these books, not because we always need to dip into them and use them, but because there are times where if we have got a question, if we've got something that we're thinking about, we want to have at our fingertips the answers. Now, I appreciate not everybody is lucky enough to have a home library, but what we do have is great public libraries. What we do have is often people giving away books. What we do have is charity shops. What we do have is yard sales or car boot sales where you can go and often buy wonderful books for just 20 pence or a dollar. We've got ways of accessing incredible information in the physical book form. And the reason it's so important, guys, is because we all need a little bit of time away from technology as well. You know, 
there are many, many things we can be addicted to and quite often addiction is not considered a good thing, quite often. Technology addiction is not necessarily any different to any other addiction, be it drug addiction, alcohol addiction, fast food addiction, whatever it may be. And so it's just worth being mindful of the potential to be addicted to technology. Any type of addiction can have a negative effect on us because overconsumption of anything is not good. And so we need ways to sometimes step back. It's good for our own heart set and our mental health. And so if we can find an escape route, which just takes us away, it's incredibly helpful to let our bodies reset. Now the escape route for some may be their exercise. The escape route for others may be their meditation. But in the absence of that, the easiest escape route, which doesn't ever have to cost you more than a dollar or a pound, depending on where you are, is to get one good quality book that you can sit down with and happily read. It's, uh, it's underestimated. It's something that we used to have to do a lot in previous times. Computers have changed a lot of that. But let's just remember the benefit. I think those three simple things, guys, they could have a massive, massive impact. It's something that we at Team Avoiding Broke are doing regularly. So at least an hour and a half exercise per day. We are always reading at least 10 pages of a book a day. We've got many books on the go. Meditating at least 20 minutes a day. And that's just helping to smooth this experience. It means that when challenges are coming in, we're feeling a little bit more energetic, a little bit more grounded and able to deal with them a little bit better. And that's just what I want to share with you because it could really help you in a time of need. And that time of need may not be now, but if and when it comes, we want to have our bodies at their best, ready to face the challenges. And the three acts of daily exercise, daily meditation and daily reading, you put those together and do that for a long enough period of time. Do it every day for a long enough period of time and you could build some incredible um, strength to help you if times get tough, which they are predicted to. All right, guys, that's it from me for the podcast today. I really wanted to address this important issue of mental health because it's just so essential that we deal with it and face into it. Me, Orlean are going to see you next week. some point, hopefully, you're going to get both of us. God, it's just life has proved to be so busy that we're, you know, we're, we're doing one slot each. But sometime soon, you're going to get both of us. We'll see you next week, guys. We'll see you during the week. We're available on all platforms, all channels at Avoiding Broke. Have a great week ahead. We'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.